Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 22nd, 2022. It is truly a Tuesday being 2-22-22. So we have some volatility overnight. Russia has invaded Ukraine, and there is lots of uncertainty in the market. Uh, currency markets, crypto markets, futures markets, markets around the world have had a tremendous amount of volatility overnight. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up, take a look at these charts, see what we want to do for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Quite a wild night last night as Russia invaded Ukraine, and price action has been all over the place in lots of, uh, lots of currencies. Crypto has been incredibly volatile. Futures markets, oh my goodness, Dow futures at one point last night down more than 700 points to rally almost all the way back to be pretty close to even, and yet we still have more uh, big price swings occurring in the pre-market as earnings roll out. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. If we take a look, we certainly have created the official downtrend here in the chart where we uh, continue to move in lower lows, um, lower highs. And you can see we've even kind of placed this little head and shoulders pattern here on the Dow. But by the close of Friday, we had kind of held on here to some price support. And over the overnight, our futures pushed down here to really test some of these lows here in the market and have bounced at least so far on the day. So if we take a look at what we have going on in here, we really want to take a look that there are a couple other patterns to pay attention to. We have that possibility of a double bottom um, that test in here where we could bounce from a bit of an oversold condition and we could rally back into price resistance levels of the chart but let's keep in mind we have substantial price resistance levels above so if we do happen to catch that rally today and we push up here into these resistance levels just be really really cautious remember anytime we're in a downtrending market you want to respect those price resistance levels now if those bears if those bears come back in during the day and there would be reason to believe that we could be very very sensitive to um, whipsaws and quite a bit of volatility here today and lots of sensitivity to any of the geopolitical news that comes out throughout the day so you'll want to watch that pretty closely if we were to lose this support here in the Dow, then look for a retest of this low here um, in the chart. And we could even go lower if we fail through there. Notice there is a fairly good level of price support right in there. But if we were to drop beyond that, well, it gets pretty ugly. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Now, certainly our technicals are not favorable here for a whole lot of bullishness in the market. But notice that our 34 EMA is getting ready to cross down through the 200 EMA or the 200 simple moving average and we have our 50 day moving average diving back down toward that 200 day so we're creating a really substantial resistance zone not only in price but in technicals right through this area so if we do happen to catch a rally back up be very very suspicious as we push into those resistance levels in the chart let's take a look at the spy now spy Certainly in a bearish condition here overall, we are certainly downtrending. We also have that head and shoulders pattern here 
on the chart. We, in the overnight, um, came back down here and we tested these lows and now we're bouncing substantially here this morning, trying to just shake off all of the geopolitical concerns here in the market. But we'll wanna watch that pretty closely and again, expect some pretty substantial whipsaws today and sensitivity to news. Watch this level right in here. If we were to rally back up, we're gonna hit a little, um, conjunction right there of price resistance and downtrend. So if we do catch enough of a rally to push back into there, we'll want to keep an eye on that. I wouldn't expect that to occur all in one day, but watch that closely. And if those bears happen to continue to press um, after the market opens, we'll want to watch this level pretty closely because if we fail here and we drop into this area of price support, there is not a whole lot there to really hold us if we were to fall through that. So kind of keep that in mind. And then let's take a look at our technicals here. Now our technicals, we've got a lot more distance between our 50 and our 200 than we do on the Dow. But notice that we certainly are in a bearish pattern. And we still run that possibility that we could catch a little double bottom here and rally back in that resistance. So um, boy, I think anything is possible today and we should expect some pretty high price volatility. And likely that is going to be the case throughout the week and maybe um, for the path forward as long as the uncertainty of this Russian-Ukraine situation unfolds. Let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Now our poor QQQ experiencing some pretty darn rough uh, patterns here in this chart. Notice we have substantial downtrend in this chart. Just pretty darn ugly. And again, that little head and shoulders, that sideways head and shoulders, certainly in play there. We've continued to make lower lows. Um, after making lower highs in the market, confirming downtrend. And notice that we dropped here. We dropped below that little price support. And although we're rallying back up in the pre-market, there's a quite a little resistance right there in that chart. So kind of keep that in mind. If we rally back into that resistance area, that could be a potential place for failure here in that chart. Now, if those bulls really get going and they can push through this resistance, then we'll to watch this one carefully because we're going to run into that um, uh, zone right here of substantial price resistance in the chart and technically guys i gotta tell you this is pretty brutal here on um, the nasdaq noticing that we have the 34 ema already down through the 200 substantially and that 50-day moving average is dropping pretty hard and fast toward that 200-day, um, setting up a massive price resistance and technical resistance zone in the chart right here. So lots of uncertainty here in the NASDAQ. And then last but not least, IWM, um, honestly, has kind of been a little bit of a surprise um, in this bit of an oversold bounce that we have had that held up better than the other markets uh, throughout last week. But notice we have just a massive level of price resistance, a year's worth of price resistance above. In that chart, we continue in a downtrend. And unfortunately, we kind of broke this support of this little uh, bear flag here in the chart on Friday and we are still lower. Now, having said that, let's watch this area. If we can get something going here, let's keep in mind we have some pretty big resistance levels in that, in that price action above. And obviously our technicals remain extremely bearish um, in um, the Russell uh, down below uh, that 50 day moving average 50 is below the 234 is putting a lid on the market right here and we've got a lot of challenges here to overcome before Russell becomes uh, bullish at all. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, whoops, our VIX kind of surprisingly did not um, spike as much as you would have thought on Friday, which might give us that little bit of a hope of a bit of a rally. But if you notice right in here, we are continuing to follow that little uptrend here um, on the VIX. And keep in mind that we're holding some price support in here as well on that VIX. Now the uncertainty today could, cert could really keep that fear number high. We'll wanna watch that closely. 
If you're a bull, you're going to want to see that continue to rest or consolidate out here toward that uh, trend or even fall below these levels. If you're a bear, you're certainly wanting to see that continue to spike up. And I think we kind of have to lean a little bit toward um, that fear side today with the uncertainties out there in the market. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 on Friday, we pushed down pretty substantially here in the chart, but you wanna notice here in that T2122, we never made it to the oversold condition in the chart. So although I know everyone's thinking, oh my gosh, more selling, come on, please. Well, we still have some room here here that we could potentially go down. So with the volatility that we see overnight, we can't rule out the possibility that we could retest overnight lows in that futures uh, market. So watch that. And that, that was down more than 700 points um, last night. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that price level. Now, if we find that bullishness in the market, we certainly have created some upside opportunity. If that, those bulls can engage here and really go, we could certainly perk back up. But I, I'm almost going to have to say, guys, I, I lean to the bearish side here on the, um, today because of the uncertainty, but you just never know. Um, what I'm going to suggest, if you're an inexperienced trader, it may be a really good day to just stand aside, pop some popcorn, put up your feet and watch the show. If you're, in a very, if you're a very experienced day trader, you may be do, uh, this may be just right up your alley. You may love this. Look for quite a little bit of price volatility and big price swings. Um, and if you're a swinger position trader, it's gonna be really, really difficult to have any kind of an edge at all in this market with the wild price swings that we could potentially see. So be very, very careful. If we take a look at our T2108, or T2108, notice that on Friday, surprising, it was um, actually uh, pleasantly surprising that our T2108 didn't collapse more than it did on that Friday sell-off. But notice we've got substantial price resistance above in this chart, major downtrend is still in play. But there is that hopefulness that we could bounce from a little bit of support area here in the chart. So keep a close eye on T2108. And T2107, largely the same thing, but not quite as, whoops. Uh, T2107, largely the same thing, but not quite as bullish because we've been in this substantially long downtrend here in the chart. We've got quite a little bit of price resistance above in this chart, but the good news is we didn't really collapse this on Friday so that potential if we can find some bullishness to bounce up into some resistance areas in the chart does seem like a possibility so watch that closely and then that T2101 like I've been saying T2101 has been acting a little bit odd here recently and we're pushing down here toward this bottom area what this suggests to me is we're setting up for some kind of a big move now I don't know if that's going to be a big move up or a big move down. But I have to tell you guys, with the geopolitical tensions out there and the uncertainty in inflation, uncertainty in a Fed rate decision coming up, um, I almost have to lean to the big move um, uh, toward the downside. So watch that carefully. We'll, we'll want to stay on our toes today for sure. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a few things today that we're going to want to pay attention to. Notice right here, um, as we move toward the open, we're going to get our Case Shiller report. Now we know housing has been a little bit challenged here recently with the high inflation and the rising interest rates. So you'll want to keep a close eye on that. If that were to continue to increase that would be a problem uh, potentially on that inflationary side so keep a close eye on that and then we've got our PMI flash this morning um, which is definitely a market mover and I think one we want to really pay attention to here today would be that 
uh, consumer confidence number, if you remember, sentiment came in very low last uh, week and um, dropped us substantially. Consumer confidence might be struggling here as well. So those are market moving um, events that we'll want to pay attention to here today. Keep in mind, we've got some Fed speakers on the calendar. And Wednesday, if you're looking forward um, for Wednesday, not much going on in there on Wednesday except a big day of earnings and those mortgage applications that have been problematic for us. And then as we move through the week, boy, Thursday's going to be a big day with the GDP report, claims, new home sales, petroleum status. It's, it's a big market mover day. And then we're going to fall into that durable goods and personal income, consumer sentiment, and pending home sales. Um, um, on Friday. So as as we get toward the end of the week, it could be intense again in uh, that market data. Let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Now we have a busy day on the earnings calendar today with um, over 200 companies reporting. So if you want to see the full list of notables, guys, make sure you click the, lit, uh, the link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog and you can catch the full list of notables this morning. We're gonna have quite a little bit of price movement around on these potential notables, but unfortunately they're not the big market moving type events um, that um, move the market a ton. Let's take a look. One of the bigger ones for today, Home Depot has already reported this morning. And you'll notice here in this chart that Home Depot continuing in this downtrend here and had a little volatility. It reported well this morning, um, reported positively, but notice we've got pretty substantial resistance levels above in that chart. And if you take a look at the technicals here on the chart, um, we're slipping below that 200 day moving average after that bullish report. So watch carefully, um, not providing a whole lot of help here to the market. Um, we have also heard from uh, Macy's today. Macy's have, has reported better than expected. And notice that we're trying to break through some resistance here in that chart. So keep a close eye on that. We got a quite a quite a big round of retail here coming up. Let's take a look. Um, we're going to hear from um, CZR today. Keep an eye on Caesars Palace. That will be out there. We're going to get um, 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 earnings from Allegiant. We're going to get Allegiant, or, I mean, um, earnings from Pan W. That could be a market um, event here because this is such a big stock. It could move substantially. You'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, we're going to get Dunkin' Donuts, or I mean Krispy Kremes today. Um, watch that closely. Looks like we're getting some volatility in that price action this morning. And we're going to hear from uh, uh, Mosaic. This is going to be kind of an interesting um, sector to watch because Mosaic being... Um, one of those ag inputs and we're seeing food prices be extremely strong we'll want to watch that closely looks like it caught a little positiveness here this morning on its earnings report then you might want to be taking a look at that housing sector um, lpx reporting today um, we could see some of these materials and things starting to run into a little bit of trouble um, if um, some of the housing numbers continue to slip take a look at Toll Brothers will be reporting today. Looks like it's trying to move up just slightly. And then the last but not least, um, let's take a look. Um, we've got CVX um, reporting, or excuse me, CVI. CVI reporting today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye here on energy as well as um, rig reporting today. Um, could be pretty big movers um, today with uh, the fact that oil is up so substantially on the um, Russian Ukrainian in uh, tensions, you know, that who knows what's going to happen there. Just keep in mind that um, Russia really doesn't have a whole lot to lose in this because, or at least Vladimir Putin doesn't. Every day he continues to um, cause hate and discontent over there. Um, oil prices continue to stay high and every little bit of oil price increase makes him only richer. 
and um, adds to our problems here in the United States of inflation. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be helpful and useful for planning your day, if you could please click that a thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you to everyone i truly truly appreciate it um also for those of you that have been supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video thank you so much i you humble me every day with your kindness and keep in mind guys that I am very very close in fact this week I might do some testing um, to do some live events on YouTube so keep an eye out for those notifications let's take a look at a few stocks but it's going to be a very few stocks today guys because this is a very uncertain market and you're going to have to be really really careful I think anything in energy could be very very bullish keep an eye on energy stocks um, fang will be reporting today for an example and that's popping through and maybe breaking some resistance to the upside oil is going to be pretty strong with um, this um, geopolitical tension over there so watch that closely anything in oil i think could be a potential buy you'll want to watch those closely and, and plan your risk very carefully because the volatility of the market could be quite high another place i think it's probably a good idea to take a look at take a look at gold and gold miners oh my goodness gold has really surged here recently on this uncertainty in the world we have had substantial currency fluctuations overnight so watch this carefully gold is holding up pretty strong and may continue to surge on higher so keep a close eye on that um, gold showing lots of strength and then anything in the gold miner area take a look at like barrett gold that has just been a rocket ship ride to the upside here recently any rest or pullback would set up an, an opportunity take a look at aui um, Newmont Mining, um, everywhere you look, um, gold and gold miners, very, very strong. So keep a close eye on those. There may be some opportunities there if we can get any rest or pullback in those charts. Um, also, you may want to be keeping an eye on silver. Now, silver hasn't responded as strongly as gold, but typically you're going to see silver and gold move a little bit more in concert with each other. Now, watch this right in here. We're pushing this downtrend in this chart but if that can pop through and hold might be worth keeping an eye on charts like that you might also want to keep an eye on some of the consumer defensive type stocks take a look at Altria now Altria made a move here um, last week uh, finally pushing to the upside now it does have some resistance up here to consider but you'll want to keep an eye on that this is breaking this substantial downtrend and this is one of those good divvy pairs good strong divvy pairs that when the market is uncertain investors start looking for security and good dividend payments and so keep an eye on Altria another one would be Philip Morris. It has been really strong here recently. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this, but a little rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. You could take a look at um, some of those casino stocks. They struggled quite a bit on Friday, pushing back, but notice Penn is still in a potential. We've got that Caesars Palace. Um, um, earnings event today that could move these around they may still be something in there on those um, take a look at some of the cannabis stocks now they have tried here recently but doggone it pulling back again on Friday the volatility today could be a little bit challenging but at least they're giving it an effort here to try and show a little bit of upside spirit but lots of volatility likely in those charts so guys I'm going to suggest being very very cautious here today I'm going to suggest if you're not experienced in the market it would be a great day to just keep your hands in your pockets 
um, you know, put your feet up again, watch the show, because this could be a wild day. Make sure you plan your risk very carefully if you do decide to trade, and just keep in mind that this market could move fast. So take your profits quickly, and be willing to take those losses quickly as well, because if it starts to fall, it could fall hard. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Be safe, be careful, and we'll see you right here, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Have a good day, everyone.